Ninja. Ninja, what's up everybody? All right, today's video is gonna be a little different than usual. We're at the Western Market Food Place. I need to get some relish, some sweet peppers, and some ranch dressing. So I'm gonna take you on an FPV with me. Let's see what we can get. Okay. First thing they got cheese. They got actual Kraft singles, American slices. Might pick that up. I don't know how much that is though. No price. I'm gonna guess somewhere north of 100k, four dollars. They got different butters, cheeses, as well. They usually have sour cream tucked in here somewhere too. Yeah, here's the Australian sour cream, which I'm really not a fan of. It's down here. And you've got your Philadelphia cream cheeses. You've got cottage cheese, which is very difficult to find. I'm definitely gonna get some of that. How much is that? Eight dollars. <laughs> Maybe a little rich for my blood. As you can see, they've got Daisy sour cream as well. So they've got the line of Daisy products. I just want to show you that when you're here, you can get this kind of stuff when you are here. A lot of people don't know about these markets. There's three of them. This is the first one. This is actually number two. Number one's over there. And then their competitor is directly next door. We're going to check out all three today. So we're going to start in this one. They've got Salami Milano. Different kinds of stuff. Almost like an American hot dog. That'd be interesting to try that. 80K. Juicy, what are these? Juicy tender hot dog. What is this? 90K. This looks like a proper sh shitty American hot dog. So maybe we'll get these. I've been cooking at home now because I'm not drinking at home. Only when we go out and do a live stream, I'll have like three or four beers. Some summer sausage in here too. Smoked cheese. Some gnocchi. And then they have different frozen stuff. Oh, they actually have bologna. How much is the bologna? 200K. So $8. Oh, they got American hot dogs here too. Actual American. 100K. Those are turkey franks though. So it's very interesting. Let me kind of adjust for you so you can see. You know, they've got stuff that you would not think is possible to get here, especially bologna or even the ham and cheese. I love bologna. So it's a very high chance we'll pick up some of that. What else? They've got some pizza crust over here, it looks like. Yes. Pizza base. Corn tortillas. They've even got corn tortillas back here. I mean, I haven't been here in a while. I didn't think they were going to have this much stuff. So actually, let me grab a cart. I plan to spend some money today on some Western food. So let's do that. Come on in. Man, the cottage cheese. I really want that cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. It's delicious. We'll think about the cottage cheese. The hot dogs, let's see what kind of American ones they have. And then they've got stuff for like hot pot. Let's check out the, the beef bologna. Let's see. 200K. How old is it? Is there expiration? It doesn't look the. Oh, October 11th. So it's already expired. So we're going to skip out on that one. Let's take a look here. Classic beef. Uncured Oscar Meyer. These are good till December. And these are 230 So $8. Too rich for my blood. We'll go with these ones. These juicy tenders. Juicy tender jumbo. Peel off the casing. Oh, I don't know about that. Peel off any casing. Keep moving. And they've got Bratwurst here. Johnsonville. And they've got veg over here. I can get veg back at my house, so. So this you'll find pretty interesting. Look at all the little Vienna sausages in a the can. They've even got chicken and rice. Uh, Chicken noodle soup, 50k, which isn't bad, two bucks. 
So we've got the Hormel chili. So there's the Hormel chili. <laughs> Each one of these stores have different stuff, so you kind of need to go to all three when you're looking and assessing for things. You have beans, black beans over here, tomato paste, tomato sauce, tomato sauce. Oh, refried beans. 120K though. Let's see. Alright, let's go down here. And then they've got hot sauces. They've got Cholulu hot sauce if you want it. They've got the green pepper Cholulu hot sauce. They've got Tapateo. All the different stuff you could possibly want. I, think, I don't think I have any Tapateo. 80K? I think this is going to be our first. Oh, they got. This is the stuff right here. This is what I'm looking for. This is my jam. Extra hot. Let's get this. I love that shit. Hidden, they got secret burger sauce from ranch. We're gonna pick up a bottle of ranch too. So yeah, I've been cooking everything at home. We really came here for relish, which they have, dill relish, sweet relish. Perfect. Let's find the relish that's for us. Vlasic, look at this big jar of Vlasic. <laughs> this is the expiration date. 2023. The small one's 85. 190. And then we came for peppers too. Remember, this stuff isn't going to be cheap. Golden Greek pepperoncini. That's what we want. Oh, these are very difficult to find. Getting those as well. It's 180. So that's approximately. <clears throat> seven dollars and the hot sauce is four dollars now we just need to get relish as well hopefully they have ranch if this one doesn't have ranch the other ones will have ranch it's kind of how it goes hold on here i want to pick the relish now sweet relish i've been watching that old guy on youtube the old old dude that cooks I'll put a link to his channel in here. But he inspired me to get relish and make a deluxe salad with uh, cabbage. I think this big sweet relish is the way to go. This is going to last a while. I can put it in the fridge. Let's see. Let's see the expiration on this one. July 2023. Okay, this again is about four, uh, $8, $7. see if they just have the classic ranch in like a regular bottle. I don't need a bottle that's the size of Mexico. And they've got A1 sauce over here. You know, they pretty much got everything. They've got olive oil down there. Let's take a look at what the big ranch is costing. Three forty. Sorry. Oh, sorry. We'll go to the other one and see if they got a smaller, smaller size. What is this? Chunky blue cheese. This looks suspect though. Why is it all separated? I'm always on the hunt for blue cheese here, but that doesn't look like the healthiest bottle of blue cheese. Sriracha down here. If you didn't know, Sriracha was actually made by a Vietnamese guy that uh, fled Vietnam and moved to California and he set it up in California. See any blue cheese? So the salad dressing we're not gonna be able to get here. No big deal. Of course, they've got all kinds of chili sauces, barbecue sauces, uh, different kinds of teriyaki sauces. A lot of the stuff you can get in other places. But so let's go over here. So far, we got the initial core ingredients of what I wanted. Ragu. They've got all the ragus. They've got salsa. Salsa is very expensive. They charge an arm and a leg for salsa. Different mustards. Okay. And then you got spices. I do need dill. It's hot as shit in here. They got no aircon on. What's up, dude? Oh, they got dash. I think they're talking about me. The problem with seasonings here is they clump together, so you gotta like 
put rice in them and put them in a, a well ventilated area. Dill. How much is dill? 160 for dill. Oh, we're gonna pass on the dill today. Let's see, maybe there's a cheaper one. This lady's giving me an evil eye. Minced garlic, paprika. Okay. What else do they got? Well, they got stovetop over here. So if you want stovetop, they've got the dip packs of ranch over here as well, as you can see. Stovetop twin pack, ranch seasoning up here for 400k for a big thing of it. They have the like. Here, here they are. And then they've got these, which are like 85. So if you're used to cooking with these packets and you don't like season things yourself, they've got most everything. Slow cook barbecue, cheesy taco, original taco. These are for hot pot. These are very good if you're eating hot pot. These are the actual Heidi Lao ones. Um, this one's really good, the tomato base. This one's really good, the spicy. I use this one and this one a lot when I eat hot pot at home. Swedish meatball. Okay, let's keep walking. It's 900 degrees in here. Oh, they got Velveeta mac and cheese. It's annoying. Okay. So now we're into like crackers. If they have oyster crackers, we'll get those. Let's see. I am gonna attempt to just make oyster crackers. I found a cheap, easy recipe on YouTube. <clears throat> Ritz's, of course. You can get Ritz's anywhere, though. Goldfish, keto, breakfast, Cocoa Puffs, Pringles. Pringles here are different for some reason. I guess to accommodate uh, Vietnamese style. Let's see. Then they got Tums over here, antacid. So if you need some like light heartburn relief, oh, they even got Pepto Bismol up here. And then they got the melatonins as well. Let's see what's down here. There's an upstairs here too, if I remember right. There's a chip section too, if I remember. So this is going to have, they have masa here, mesa. They have all kinds of different cooking stuff, flour. They've got Italian flour, if I remember right. So all kinds of baking and cooking stuff as well. The Indian stuff is upstairs, if I remember right. Red mill, you've got, and then you can make a cake like back home. they got the Jiffy cornmeal mix. There should be chips somewhere. Or are they in the front? Yeah, they're usually in the front. So let me know how you think about these FPVs. I can probably like get away with using this camera in stores where they wouldn't notice by putting it under my shirt. So like all the stuff you can get here regularly, like Cheetos and stuff that, that's become really mainstream in the past few years here. So like every store has them. Let's see. Extra virgin, extra virgin olive. I can get extra virgin olive oil at K Market. Really, you come here for stuff that you cannot get anywhere else. So, let's see. Liquid smoke. I wonder if they have Worcester sauce. Any Worcester sauce? I'm not seeing it. It's okay. I can get Worcester sauce at Kmart as well. Like I said, it's tight in here. Need anything canned? I can get all that at K Market as well. So K Market's a Korean market. They have a lot of stuff from Korea that's that they bring over. I'm hoping to find some kind of hot dog, man. Let's retake another look at this hot dog thing. Looks like real bacon too. 95. Let's take a look at this bacon. Looks like proper, yeah, look at this, proper, like, fatty. 95 is not bad. Let's get that. Okay. 
So pretty much what I'm gonna do is make a rushing dressing with the relish for the cabbage salad. Still debating the, the cottage cheese. It's a little pricey. I can't do it. I think we got enough with this one. I would have got some bologna too if it wasn't expired. But sometimes that's the way it goes. How much is the Milano? 75k, it's not bad. And they got the spicy salami, which is actually really good. Might get some of that too. So this is three dollars for it's just not that much. You can get a better deal on cold cuts from uh on non um, market. Okay, so let's tally up what we spent here and we'll go over to the next place. Can you put that in a separate bag? Yes. Yeah. Two seventy five so far. I think we're gonna be at like five hundred K here. At five fifty five. So like twenty five bucks. Come on. Okay. Give her some money. That's what they're waiting for. Oh, heavy bag. And then they got Kool Aid here if you're Burt Chrysler. You know, the Kool Aid champ. There you go. 155. Come on. So about $22 for that. Seems crazy, right? But that stuff will last me a really long time. That's the point behind it. So. It's not cheap, but you can get the stuff you need. So let's cruise on over to the other one and see if they've got ranch. <clears throat> and then I'm good. Maybe if they have some hot dogs. You gotta know the difference between each one. So the way the way to get here, I'll put the address, is the way to get here is, uh, it's right off Winway. Or if you're by Golden River, like me, it's right by Golden River. I walk here, I walk everywhere. I'm gonna shoot a bunch of videos today. I figured we would try out like this new rig. I know the audio isn't as good. I'm gonna be getting microphones eventually. Not this year. Uh, this year I'm is gonna be focused on paying off the phone I lost. And then I can buy another phone maybe sometime next year. I'll just use my old phones for now. This is what it is. Mistakes were made. Can't dwell on it though. So these are competitors. So number one is over here. And then next door is a, a direct competitor. Fuang Ha. So let's take a look in Fuang Ha 1. Let's take a look here. Alright, we're in Fuang Ha 1 now. Okay. So you're going to see a lot of the same stuff we saw in the last place. And it's going to be priced the same. So 180 for pepperoncinis. Yeah, you're good to go, man. No pepperoncinis. You're going to see a difference in, in product at each one. That's the kind of cool thing about it. Oh, they got tartar sauce. So if you need tartar sauce. And then they've got the burger sauce. Let's go over to the where the ranch will be. That's what we're here for. Yeah, it's down here. Oh, got to go around. So this has even more flour. This one's the one with like masa and all that stuff. And like Cajun seasoning, all that different kinds of stuff. How much are they selling their queso for? 120 about four dollars. They got Miracle Whip. Isn't <laughs> Yeah. Okay. What do we got here? Yeah, here's some Indian stuff. Like I said, I didn't show you the upstairs and the other one. It's just Indian products. So if you're 
Indian and you need to make food, they've got a lot of your stuff here. It's upstairs. <coughs> oh, there's like a ranch shortage going on. No ranch over here either. They're actually low in dressing over here. Usually this is the place with the most. What is this? All more tartar sauce. Now, usually they've got way more dressings. They must be low on there. Here's Worcester sauce. 75, that's not bad. I don't need that immediately. Oh, oh, here's the big ranch. This gigantic one. The problem with this though, she, she peeled the label off. So, it's expired. You gotta watch that stuff uh, in these markets. Check to see what's expired and what's not. Because they certainly will sell you an expired product because they don't want to lose the money on importing it over here it's a shame oh this is really good mayonnaise this is like my favorite mayonnaise actually this korean fresh mayonnaise it's awesome let's go down this tight tight alley well disappointing no ranch but what can i do okay what do we got here so more hot dogs and stuff. Three hundred k. Well, crazy. Twelve bucks. These are here too. These seem to be pretty popular. I just don't know what they are. I'll look them up later. And then the good bacon that we got, like proper good bacon. Vietnamese bacon's a bit different. Now let's check out these spices. Still on the hunt for dill, but I'm not willing to pay $8 for a thing of dill. Well, they've got rubs up here, taco blend, kinders, all these different kind of rubs. Jane's Crazy Salt would be cool to find too. I couldn't find it in Florida, oddly. I bought back a lot of spices from Florida, like a lot of spice packs like this. No ranch here. And they're gonna have a little fridge here too, full of uh, dairy shit. Let me show you. Yeah, same thing. No cottage cheese like the other one. Like I said, they separate their stuff into different stores. So you have a reason to go to like each one type deal. What's that? Oh, Parmesan. Look at that. So I bought back a one pound can of Parmesan. But here, here they're taking it and they're separating it and they're selling it for 55. Kind of a good idea. So if you need the, the canned Parmesan, the cheap stuff, boom. Okay. Let's go this way. Should be eating some food. Okay. And then I'll exit out this way. Spam, all the different spams. You can get spam anywhere now. It's become very popular as well. Beef broth, chicken broth. You can also get this at K-Market. A lot of this stuff you can get at K-Market. Hormel tamales, chicken and chili sauce. Chicken, beef and chili sauce. Man, I used to love these things when I was a kid. This shit's probably terrible for you. 41% of your daily sodium. 22 grams of carbohydrate. 190 calories. Not bad, they're just sodium bombed. Is it expired? No, 2024. We don't need these, although they would be a good fat fat guy snack. Not gonna happen. So let's go pop into the third one, see if they have ranch. And they carry a bit of a different product, you'll see. Oh, they've got the crispy rounds. These are tremendous. These you can't get anywhere. So if you want the crispy rounds, there you go. They're all super narrow like that. It's pretty funny. So this guy's got Hershey syrup, A and W right out of the gate. I'll show you. Let's take a look here. So this is a separately owned one. So they're gonna have different stuff. They're purposely trying to source other things, especially sweets, cookies, and candy, as you can see. They've got like the trick-or-treat style sharing candies. This place also has interesting stuff. 
So they've got whipping cream, heavy cream, pizza things as well, gyoza skins, some Indian, frozen Indian stuff. Take a look over here. So this place carries a lot of Australian stuff. So as you can see, you've got meat pies from Australia. Wow, they got hash browns. Interesting, frozen hash browns. Again, if I was not caring about what I look like, this would all be delicious fat guy food. Let's see if we got hosed on the, uh, the relish. So we'll check the relish price here. They got canned jalapenos as well, which they're not bad, they're 100K. We might get a can of the, of the jalapenos. Because these last for a long time too. 90K, wow. These are even cheaper. I think we might go with this. Wow, this is even cheaper. Mbasa sliced jalapeno. Okay, we'll go with that for sure. That's a good deal. And then they've got dill pickles, like regular American pickles. Like I said, this one focuses more in Australian cuisine. And I know I've helped out some gigantic oh, yeah. YouTubers with finding stuff here that do <laughs> food here. Which is no problem, I don't mind. <laughs> Barbecue sauce. More A1, more Worcester sauce. 70k for the Worcester. We're going to pick this up too. That's a good deal. So a little bit cheaper here. They're competing a little bit. Then you've got this like premium pate. I, I love Vietnamese pate. If I'm going to get pate, I'm going to get it from the, uh, the famous Bon Mi place. That place has absolutely smacking. Oh, I see ranch. We found the holy grail of what we were looking for. 195, 105. Oh, that's not cheap. Let's check the expiration date. Because I'll just get the big one. April 23rd. Although we could just get the small one, but it doesn't make sense. Like, oh, it's 24 fluid ounces. This is 8, 8, 16, 24. So this would be 300K to get this much. I think we just go with that, right? Like I said, this stuff isn't cheap. I rarely come here. It's usually once every four months, three months. Oh, well, they got an Italian balsamic, an Italian salad dressing. I don't know if this brand is any good though. These are terrible. Don't buy these. They're fucking disgusting. They taste nothing like the real deal. You'll be sadly upset, surprised, shocked. Oh, so this is Australia. I tend to not like these Australian dressings. So I think we're just gonna make the move on the ranch. The hidden valves. And this will last a long time, you know? This will last me four or five months, three months. It'll last a while. So we're at 500K almost again, Jesus. How much are these? 45, that's a good price for these. That's cheaper than what I can get them for. So we'll get one of these. Always in the hunt for can. 45 for pace though, that's a bit high. This is good. This stuff's always good to use, these stewed for chilies. Get this stewed for chili, they even got soup here. They got the clam chowder for 100. Minestrone. Chicken chowder, New England chowder. It's just hard to wrap your head around four dollars for a can of good, you know. One oh five. This would still be the better bet for me, but we'll just get the big one. Okay, let's go down this one. Dr. Pepper Cherry. You can get actual Dr. Pepper here. This is very hard to source Dr. Pepper in Vietnam. It, you can get it at K-Market. They have it on occasion. They usually have V8 here too. Actual Gatorade, which is very difficult to find as well. It used to be here back in the day and Gatorade pulled out for some reason. Vegetables, vegetables. We've got strawberries. Probably come from Korea or Japan. See, they've got the same Australian sour cream. They've got the Greek. I can get that at uh, K Market. Oh, 
What happened? We shot a half hour already? Jesus. <laughs> That's an extended tour of these markets. Well, you got to see all three. Cheddar, Presidential, Cheddar. I can get that. That burger slices, two forty-five for that brick. It's a pretty good deal. I just don't need that kind of uh, ricotta. More meat pies, French fries. And then they've got toothbrush and American toothpaste and stuff like this. We're Australian. For set up frozen pizzas, you can get those anywhere. Oh, here's spices. Turmeric, cumin, coriander, fennel. Fennel seeds, 30K. Wow, that's a fucking deal. That is not easy to find fennel that cheap. So we'll get that. Tahura. Oh, this stuff's hard to find too. 80. Classical. Man, I'm gonna spend way too much here. I wasn't trying to spend 50 bucks there. This stuff's awesome. Difficult to find. And they know it too, like they purposely just mark up when it's difficult to find shit. I think we'll get it, because I haven't come across this anywhere. Yeah, we're gonna get it. Should we? I'm not a rich man. Oh, they've got bag spices. Let's see here, oregano, parsley, rosemary. I've got parsley, poppy seed. We got the fennel. Wow, it's a better deal than this fennel, even. This fennel was 30, this one's 25, so let's get the one in the bag. 25, it looks like a fresher fennel as well. Okay. Garlic, onion, poppy seed. All we need is dill. Mixed herb, targon, sage, celery. Wow, this place is a landmine, a gold mine, man. If you're trying to cook American and you need all the stuff you need to cook American, this is your spot. They got the taco seasoning, paprika, get this too. Is there expiration date on it? I just don't want to make sure it's bad or anything. Take a look at the other one. They look alright. I don't think this stuff expires. I think we got another 500k again. To, yeah, right around 500k. So we're going to spend about 50 bucks to that, $40, on just these few items. Like I said, this is stuff that if you need, you know, yeah. And I'm going to do cooking videos too, again, so this stuff will be in the cooking videos, so hopefully, you know, some ad revenue from that will cover it. But I mean, it's crazy the amount of money you can spend in these stores. So let's tally this one up. This could be right at five hundred. Four ninety five, so four eighty five. Hmm. <laughs> so approximately 20 bucks. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Em. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so we spent about a million which is about forty dollars we spent around forty dollars today getting all this stuff 
it's gonna last a while. I hope this video was helpful. I'm gonna put the address to all three locations for you. If you need any kind of American products, I know you didn't get to see my face once, but that's the whole point of trying something new. So yeah, if you liked the video, found it helpful, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like the video. If you didn't like it, destroy the dislike button, leave a nasty comment, unsubscribe if I even pissed you off. But yeah, if I was helpful, go ahead and become a subscriber. Um, if you want to see the rest of Korea content, there's 10 videos available in Korea on Patreon. You can join Patreon for as little as 110 a year or a dollar a month if you really want to. <coughs> Prefer the $5 tier though. All right, guys, stay frosty. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace out.